today I'm doing some no line watercoloring. So I've stamped my painted rose, which is one of my favorite Concord and Ninth sets. You can see it's well loved. And I stamped it with Distress Ink in Tattered Rose. So you could use any really pale color. I just went with one because I was going to use an abandoned coral ink. And I've stamped a couple of greens. You can see I started on the leaves here. And then Marilyn said, we should be videoing this. So all I'm going to do is start with a dark color at kind of the base of the petal. And I'm no pro at this, but I just wanted to give it a try. And then I'm going to just pull this darker color out to the edges of the petal. And I've got water in my water brush, so it should just get paler as I pull it out. And I'm going to work on petals that aren't touching each other so that the color doesn't bleed from one petal to the next. And you can see here what it looks like as they get dry. So this one is fairly dry, but I'm going to move over to this one here now. Just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And I'll just do a couple to show you. So the Distress Ink in the light color should just kind of disappear into the painting as it's done and it makes it look like you've just <clears throat> painted this from nothing, not from a stamped image. Especially with the Distress Ink, it kind of reacts with water and it should blend right in. And you want to make sure you get some nice darks for your shadows so you can get right in there and you can even go back later onto your dry parts and make sure you've got some nice dark colors in there and then just draw them out a little bit soften them up at the edge like that and let that dry now my greens I want to get them a little darker too. I'm just going to mix up a color between my two greens here. Get nice and dark where the shadow of those petals are going to be. And just soften it up at the edge here. And remember watercolors get a little lighter as they dry so don't get all concerned that oh it's too dark it's too dark just let it dry and do its thing like what right here are using? I'm using watercolor paper and could you use Nina heavy paper you could but you don't want to use too too much water but if you're going to use say your um, watercolor markers they really like the zig paper and you can move those markers around really nicely on the on the uh, so we'll see what she's using for a palette. Bristol paper. Yeah, I was trying to think, because I'm using this black um, craft mat, uh, I have a transparency for my misty, so I just laid it over a piece of white paper so I can see where my colors are. So that's no line watercolor. Thanks, Cindy.